Kill me, I'm here! Kill me! Hey everybody, this is Matty Movies coming at you with my review of Phantasm. Now, if you've been coming around my channel at all lately, you probably have picked up on the fact that I've been on a little bit of a horror kick. And as a big horror fan, there are certain movies that you're supposed to have seen. And I think most people who are horror fans probably have a few gaps in their knowledge. And for me, one of them was definitely Phantasm. This is a movie that I've been hearing about for years and years and years, and one that I've been told many times before I should check out, and I decided to get around to it. This is a 1979 movie. And for those of you who don't know what it's about, essentially, uh, it's this little town where people keep dying in odd odd ways. And it turns out uh, that basically there's this kid who, who figures out that there's the uh, the local uh, freaky kind of looking guy that they call the, ta the tall man, who's an undertaker, is the one who is really behind everything like that. And he goes and he tries to take this guy on it. And it, throughout a lot of this movie, there's a lot of uh, kind of spying going on, where the, the good portion of him going to, to battle with the tall man is him first off going to and finding his way into his uh, parlor to try to figure out what's going on. And then there be little attacks that come his way. And there, this movie just, I just didn't really this didn't really work for me. Um, I, I don't know uh, why this movie is considered such a classic, to be perfectly honest with you. Uh, I mean, I do get uh, that there is things about it that I did enjoy. Like, there's uh, there's a certain feel to, to classic 70s horror that I do really enjoy, like the practical effects and some of the uh, some of the, the set design and all that kind of stuff. All really, really works. It brings me back to, like, you know, movies like The Omen or The Exorcist or stuff like that. And, and, and th this movie definitely feels like of that time period. And that that works for me and then there are definitely some visuals that are pretty cool uh but and like the guy who plays the tall man i thought was awesome i really liked the the visual of him uh there's a moment where uh you know if if the camera is the that's supposed to be the good guy he's like And it was creepy as f, where all of a sudden he just turns and looks at him, and it was awesome. I love that moment. I was like, "Ha, this is great!" And I was kind of in for a moment there. But the way the the way in which the the, the movie plays plays out, like there's so many moments in it that are that feel very cheesy to me. Uh, like there's, there's there's basically this kill ball that comes and hits people in the face that ha and has blades and kills them with the blade, and then the, there's like a drill that comes out of it and drills into their forehead. And I'm like, that, it's just yeah, why didn't the guy duck? Why didn't the guy go like this? I, I mean, the ball might have gone more like this at him, but it didn't. He didn't really do anything. He just kind of stood there. Was like, <gasps> and, and it doesn't work. There's, there's. Uh, this is another movie that has the classic. Gotta get that last scare in at the last moment, and it. it I didn't find it worked at all. I, it and it was very similar to uh, a, another classic horror movie. It does almost the exact same thing, and it's a movie that I like much much more and I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna say what movie it is because then you know exactly what would probably happen at the end of this movie because it is such a memorable moment in in both films but it, that didn't work for me um, like I said I, I liked I really liked the tall man and I'm, there's part of me that's tempted to check out the the sequels because I'd like to see more of him and I do they feel like there's a lot of potential there however I'm not a big fan of this movie and there's not very many horror sequels that are better than the original if if, if if you're watching this and, you've, and you're a devotee of this of this uh, this series and you've seen all of them uh, and you're listening to what I didn't like about this movie, let me know if you think I should give the next one a shot. Um, but yeah, I, I mean, th to me, this movie just it just didn't it didn't hit uh, it just didn't hit for me. I, I don't think it's terrible. I don't I don't think it's uh, ridiculous to people like it. I just don't understand why it's considered a classic because it just you know I, I just it just didn't work for me. Um, 
So, yeah, those are my thoughts on Phantasm. Let me know in the comments below if you've seen the movie. Like I said, if, you, if you've seen the sequels, if you actually check them out, uh, please hit that like button. It does awesome things for my channel. It makes it much more likely that people who are not uh, going to go come across my channel by, them, by themselves will be, be able to see it in that uh, recommended page. And please, if you're new to this channel and you enjoyed this video on any level, hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell. That way you know when I put out new videos because it, it, it re it's really, really fun to me for me to be able to talk to you guys about movies and, it, and if you do that you find out that you'll find out when I put out new videos and you'll be able to come and we'll be able to have a dialogue and that would be freaking awesome which is absolutely uh, absolutely love it I'm very passionate about this uh, so other than that have yourself a nice day